Hi everyone, thanks for uh, watching. If you are tuned in, uh, much appreciated. So I'm back at the house here in Miwa for our uh, Akia vacant house renovation that we have been doing here in Miwa, Japan. So the construction was kind of a standstill for a little bit while the Wakayaki-san was finishing a different job. Uh, but now they are back at the house and uh, fast and furious. So I came by yesterday and they have removed all the windows. Well, they haven't gotten to the top yet, but on uh, the bottom floor, they have removed all the windows, the front door, and they started sanding down on some of the wood uh, beams that would be exposed. So it's just some of, some of these right here. Yeah, they removed the uh, windows in the back side of the house as well. They put some uh, planks there just to so they can work on that side. This week they are going to come out and install the two beams that are going to be right there. If you have watched previous videos, uh, you know what I'm talking about. If not, um, because we are removing some of the load-bearing uh, pillars there. They have to install these two huge gorgeous beams right there. And yeah, all the electrical and everything. Everything is pretty much ready for them to start, you know, doing the walls. Let me run upstairs real quick and see what has been going on there. And watch my step. Yeah, beautiful woodwork. All these beams, again, they will be exposed. And with the shikui walls, white walls, I think that's gonna look very beautiful. All this electrical is pretty impressive. If I had to do this myself, I would definitely mess that up. <laughs> definitely far beyond my expertise. On this side over here is where the loft is at. And the bedroom right here on the bottom part. And the only tatami room and the only Angawa. And like I said a minute ago, looks like they sanded down these right here. Kind of dangerous looking down this way for the future bathroom. Yeah, so it is end of March and everything is turning nice and green, beautiful. Nice view from upstairs. All the different flowers. Uh, it's uh, almost full cherry blossom there. I would say that they're probably about at 80%. Uh, the um, Plum trees that we have, they are no longer blooming. And now it's the cherry tree's turn. And what I'm here today is to finish planting some cherry trees that I purchased. And there is one right over there. What we're trying to do with this lower, lower backyard is to make it nice and flat and uh, clean so that we can uh, enjoy the day out there and kind of be able to park some vehicles there if, if we need to. Um, so we have to assess the situation with these trees. Uh, they're also blocking, I mean, they provide shade, but they also block some sun coming in too. So we'll see, we still need to check them out. The upper backyard over there, we need to plant some more trees and do some more cleaning as well. Here we are from the other side of the craft room. Nice view from above of the man cave. The man cave is right here and then the two two car garage down there and this is where our little guest house is going to be at. I need to work on the little Japanese garden and the side of the mountain over here. I just left the house and heading back towards Iwakuni. 
but I figured I'd make a quick stop and uh, video uh, these beautiful cherry blossoms a few minutes from the house. This is uh, close to the area to where I recorded before when I was uh, talking to the gentleman that had a a uh, fire, uh, a wood burning fireplace. If you have seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you know, go back and check it out. So right now the cherry trees are about uh, probably about uh, 90 percent, 80 percent uh, bloom. They're almost there, but absolutely gorgeous. There's this is a park. I'm not quite sure what the name of this park is here. There's a river down down the road. They are lined with cherry trees. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. About four years ago, we came and rode our bikes around here as well. And what I was doing at the house this afternoon, I was planting four cherry trees along the side of the house, kind of on a hill, kind of similar to like this. So I was kind of hoping that it could, they, you know, <laughs> it's probably going to take ages for them to turn this way. But uh, that's what I was kind of hoping for. I mean, if you don't plant them now, they're never going to grow, right? Down there, you see some uh, chestnut trees. Uh, like I, I mentioned before, that Miwa is very famous for the Ganeguri, the, the particular type of chestnuts. I think what I'm going to do is take my little K truck down this road and explore a little bit and take you guys along with me. Next week, I think I'm going to go to the other park that I showed before that had a little pond and carp uh, fish, koi fish there. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people picnicking and stuff like that. Beautiful mountains down that way. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and drive down. I'm not, I've never driven down this way. I've been on my bicycle, so I wasn't really paying much attention. Actually, I see some chains down there, so I don't. I can't go down this way unless I'm riding my bicycle or walking. But I'm going to go ahead and drive down that way a little bit. Actually, before I drive down that way, I just kind of realized that there's some beautiful homes right here, right across the street from all the cherry trees. Lots of chestnut trees right there. Beautiful homes. Beautiful view. I'm very jealous. I wish our place was in a, located in a place like this. I am very happy with our location, but uh, this is a really nice place too. There's my little K truck. She's a little uh, Subaru, Sambar Subaru, 4x4, um, 5 speed, supercharged. This little thing is awesome. I paid $1,200 for this little truck. It's 1993, if I remember correctly, but absolutely just fun and very, very practical. The sides will come off and Oh, you can totally remove them, make it a flat bed. Just, you could you could do so many things with these little trucks. She has paid for herself several times over. With this truck, I got rid of all the previous owner's property in our, in our house, in our IKEA. I, let's see, I, I have gotten multiple uh, loads of wood free wood that I got from a local nursery. I got all that for free. Um, I've bought four or five loads of crushed rock for the driveway and I still need to buy more. Uh, gosh, the, the list goes on and on and on. So yeah, just having this truck in the countryside has been absolutely one of the best investments I've made in a long time. All right, like I said before, I'm sorry for the rambling. Let's, let's drive down that way a little bit. So basically there's just a parking, a little restroom, and let's see little different areas over here where you could walk around and hike. It's 
go take a little quick walk. There's a good little pile of wood. <laughs> I don't think they would appreciate me taking it, or maybe they will. Who knows? Many times in these streams, there's carp. I um, don't think they will see any here. Well, who knows? Let's see. This uh, kind of shallow over there. Nah, it doesn't look like it. I'm going to try to release this video before April 20th. The reason why is because in Aichi Prefecture, there is a Komika Summit, second Komika Summit, uh, going on. That's a three-day event. So for, the, for those of us that are interested in older Japanese houses, it does not necessarily have to be an old Kominka which is a house, pretty much a house that was built in the 1940s and before. Uh, but it can, you know, if you have an IKEA like, like ourselves, that an older house built in 1975. And uh, you're interested in the process of buying, renovating, uh, all the above. Uh, it's a really cool event. Last year was the first one, and it was a blast uh you had lots of foreigners as a matter of fact i would say 95 percent of the attendees were foreigners at the table that i sat at to um have dinner we had a gentleman from uh, australia his wife was from mongolia a lady from costa rica a young kid from Slovakia and myself, you know, a uh, Mexican-American and my wife, Japanese. Uh, the guest speaker was uh, Jaya from uh, Tokyo Lama. He was a guest speaker and I really had a really cool uh, conversation with him. I had a chance to uh, meet him and uh, talk to him and that was really cool. I've been watching his videos for a while. If you have not checked out his channel, go ahead and check it out. He bought this older Akiya, really gorgeous house. Uh, that place was, God, it was trash. Most people would walk away from it. But he won it on the auction and has done an absolutely gorgeous renovation. Uh, partial DIY, partial with a contractor kind of similar to us but i think uh, he's doing more diy than we are for sure most of our diy will be uh outside <laughs> and then the smaller stuff like that but again thanks again if you have uh been following us you will know that we are doing a rather extensive renovation which will consist of from concrete slab on up, uh, remove the floors, new electrical, new plumbing, uh, insulation below the wood floor. The wood floor will be thick cedar, shikui uh, on the walls, uh, and uh, pretty much nice and open and spacious. Actually, I had a viewer this weekend comment on our house. And the comment was that it's really cool that the house was being reborn. And I never really thought of it like that, but absolutely. And this morning I was having a conversation with my brother and we're talking about it. And uh, he was asking me, you know, what's the cost? Which, by the way, I'll pro I will share later on once we're, once we're done. But I told him, that quite frankly, my approach that is not necessarily the cost is more of the we are customizing the house the way we want it because i mean don't get me wrong i am concerned about the price but in japan in my observation real estate is not the best investment this is the first time we've ever had the opportunity to renovate a house to our liking and that is exactly what we want to do. But yes, if you like what you see, please uh, like, share, comment, 
leave uh, questions below. Also, if you check out my description of the videos, I have been adding links to different sites to buy or to search for real estate in Japan, Akiya, Skominka, or just a regular website. I recommend that you use Chrome as a browser because it will translate for you. Uh, sometimes it gets lost in translation, so <laughs> if you're kind of wondering, yeah, this is kind of a weird translation, that's basically what it is. That is how I found our place through a regular local website. It was, I, I used Chrome as a browser and uh, it came right up. And then from there, we were able to contact the real estate agent and uh, we closed on the house um maybe 30 45 days from the day that we decided in our case it was not dramatic and a lot of the horror stories that you hear probably a lot of it is because my wife did most of the legwork because she's japanese and she can <laughs> she understands a whole lot better than i can uh so thank you honey um but um yeah there was really no major issues buying our house all right thanks again thanks for watching and uh please follow us along have a great day thanks